What's good everyone and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy X-2. In the previous episode, we pulled out the Glock on Garrick. <laughs> you know went all gangsta on him. And we defeated him in battle so that we can stop him from initiating a war against the Guado. You know, uh, he was being all violent and you know, uh, I don't know, it was making Kamari sad. And you already know, when Yuna sees Kamari sad, she's gonna defend him. So that's what we did and hopefully things are calmed down in Mount Gagazet. Um, after that we went to Besaida Island and we had a boss fight against Valfor. You know, uh, Beklem was threatening to burn down the temple if we didn't do anything about it and that we did. You know, we stopped all the fiends from coming from the temple because they were coming from Valfor for some reason. So. I don't know guys, I'm starting to worry with all these dark Aeons appearing out of nowhere, but you know, if they're appearing from the the chambers of the faith, I feel like, what's to stop from other things appearing, like, Titus? <laughs> I don't know guys, maybe. Anyways, now we're gonna head to the next hot spot, and that will be, um, Kilika Island. <laughs> My bad. I had like I, I forgot for a second. Yeah, Kilika Island. We have to go there next. Um, there is fiends sighted at the Kilika Temple. The youth leagues got the woods closed off. You will have to get past them somehow to get to the temple. So let's go. I'm ready. You already know. If I have to get gangsta up in here, then I will. Shoot, y'all better make me pass. <laughs> Alright, let's grab these chests because you already know at the beginning of every episode or every chapter these chests respawn, so you can't forget. Why am I speaking in an accent? I need to stop. Shut up. <laughs> Alright, we got an ether there. You would think they would give us more uh better items as we go along chapter to chapter, but these items are pretty mediocre if you ask me. Um Oh, you see that lady across the docks? Uh, let's go talk to her. I think she's gonna give us a prize. Um, I believe it's gonna be a Garmin grid? Or... Well, let's check it out first. Because remember, um, in the last chapters, we had to collect all the monkeys in the Kilika Woods. And that will actually give us a prize. So let's go see what she'll give us. Oh man, so... It's crazy how, like, I just feel like, you know, how is it possible for these Aeons to come back when they're all dreams of the faith, you know what I'm saying? Like, weren't the dreams of the faith, like, ended in at the end of FFX, you know? But I guess not. It's just, it just makes me wonder, you know what I'm saying? Let me know if you find any other squatter monkeys in the woods, okay? Hey, I found them all. How many squatter monkeys have you brought me? Let's see, 13, I think. Oh, so many monkeys, I don't know what to say. Here's a little thank you. <laughs> Alright, so we got the Chaos Maelstrom Garmin Grid. And I need to, um, well, not now, but I need to actually explore the Garmin Grids. The list of Garmin Grids that I have. Because, for real, for real... I'm slacking with the Garmin Grids. There's so much variety in the Garmin Grids that you can, you know, play with. And I've been, you know, kind of missing out on all that. So I have to, you know, look... Actually, I'm not going to head towards the forest yet. There is something we have to do over here. Um, So I'm going to actually, in this episode, a little bit later in this episode, go through all the Garmin Grids and see what, what possible options... I can make up. My, 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 my. What brings you here? We heard fiends were coming from the temple. And you just had to come running. Of course. Well, uh, I wouldn't say that. I'm not even so sure there are any fiends. You haven't tracked? I'm in the Youth League. Do you think they'd let me in the temple? So now what? We giving up? Let's take a look first. You'll never get near the temple. The Youth League's blockaded the forest entrance. 
As they should. We can't have those temple vermin crawling into town now, can we? Besides, it spares me from having to see that sulky face. Bartello, you mean? <laughs> sulky face? Bartello? Of course, he's with New Yevon, so naturally he's in the temple. But then it's really none of my business. Then we'll make it ours. Besides, I'm worried about the fiends. If you want to go that badly, I won't stop you. But they're turning people away at the gate. I've got it. I'll distract one of the guards. That's your chance to run through. Donna is, um, helping us? I knew she was worried about him. Oh, I get it. She obviously wants to see Bartello. <laughs> Even though she acts like she doesn't. You know, it's all just an act for her, you know. Ooh, 2,000 gil. Ooh, Donna, you was... You was packing, bruh. Let's go, let's go. Hurry up, before she come back. <laughs> she finds her stash mission. <laughs> I think it's working! That leaves one. Let's wait for our chance and take it. Um, are you ready to rush the gate? Um... Oh, okay, so we have to do a little mini game here where we have to press X to rush the gate at the right moment when nobody's looking. So, uh, press R1 to change your view of the scene, watch closely, and when it's time the right when the time is right, press X to make a run for the open gate. Alright, so I pretty much know what to do. Um maybe just a little. Uh I don't think I need practice. Uh I was uh reading the guide and they pretty much made it really uh clear and concise. So um R1 to change the views. When he's talking to somebody, will you know, and this guy, he needs to be talking to Donna. Sometimes he'll turn around, so you gotta be careful with him. Alright, so he's gonna open the gate. He's facing that way. And... Are you gonna turn around, my dude? Oh, it's too late now. I have to wait again. Oh, crap. I don't really know if there's anybody else watching. It's just... It's just those three, pretty much. I want to get this right because I, I think uh, the guy said that you get a really good accessory if you get this on the first try. Alright, so he's going to open the gate. While he's looking away. Run! Did we make it? made it and we got the accessory oh shoot Boshido lore Ooh, I wonder what that is I'll look it up later so yeah if you guys want that accessory make sure you get no what are you doing that on the first try what the <gasps> run he wasn't even there there's a hidden path through the woods walk the treetops walk the treetops okay got you all right so we're gonna have to find this hidden path Oh my god, all this destruction! Oh my god, things are a mess in Kiliko. Alright, so what we want to do is actually see if there's a chest over here first. Uh, no. Oh, thank god we don't have to collect any monkeys. <laughs> Cause you know, we did that in the last chapter I believe, or the other chapter, I forgot which chapter. Why won't they let anybody through though? Like obviously we're here to defend Kiliko, bruh. Like what's goody bruh? Alright, so yeah, I think this way this way is blocked. 
Where is the secret passage that Donna was talking about? No, this way is blocked too. Oh crap, I should've... I should've looked at the guide a little bit more because I'm not sure how to get to the uh, secret passage. Donna said there was a hidden path. Walk the treetops. Oh, okay, so it automatically initiates the cutscene for you towards the hidden path. All right, got you. I was getting worried there because I, I didn't know what to do. The guy didn't say anything about uh, finding the hidden path. <laughs> That's weird. The fire, um, the fire is blue. It's not like you know regular fire red red fire you know what I'm saying this is different um, damn these dudes out <laughs> like we ain't defending uh, new Yevon anymore <laughs> they out oh shoot damn The temple is falling apart. We we got to go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Let's go. Restore order to by stamping out the fiends coming from Tukilika Temple. Put a stop to the re fiends. Ramping. <coughs> How do you shoot at a ghost? <laughs> I just want to know. Isn't that like a ghost fiend? How do you shoot at it? How do you shoot at it? Well. We can't attack them with swords and stuff. Alright, so should we put a comm sphere down here? You wanna make sure you see him do that. Which he pretty much automatically does it. So Oh buddy, what are you doing here? Don't worry, I'll negotiate us a juicy fee. Oh, we're not gonna charge them. This is no time for us to be arguing over who's on whose side. But about the fee, do you suppose you could lower it just a little? You know what, buddy? Charge him. Charge him. <laughs> Never mind. Because he, he acting up. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so bad. Ooh, they got mad mocking on me here. Oh, man. Oh, so I see the, uh, Braska, Lord Braska's statue. A lot of people were talking about how they wanted a, a a game that was following Lord Braska's pilgrimage, which it would be, be it would be kind of cool. But most of the you know most of the story of Lord Braska was pretty much introduced in uh, FFX. You know they had a lot of spheres that we saw, and there was a lot of you know cutscenes of his pilgrimage with you know Orin and I mean not yeah Orin and Jekt you know so it would just be like a, a game repeating itself I don't know I, I, I think it would be cool but at the same time I don't know all right so oh I still have the pets <laughs> yes the Garo Kagaro Kagaro attack holy attack you know, you know, I was actually thinking about um, how much Yojimbo charged Yuna to borrow his pet. <laughs> Cause you know, you already know Yojimbo, bro. He he charging, he charging, bro. Oh man. Why is he on the ground? You okay? I'll be okay. Oh, okay. The fiends. <laughs> We're holding them off, somehow. They're coming from inside. One after another. Oh! If the fiends reach the town, they'll reach Donna! Oh, you care. They won't. Thanks. 
wants to see you. Well, she didn't come right out and say it, but you can kind of tell. Yo, Riku, yo. I want she, to see her too. She a gossiper and a half. Even if we believe different things, I'll always feel the same about her. Oh. The time of the summoners may have passed, but I will always be Donna's guardian. I live only to protect her. And you can say that with a straight face. <laughs> Donna! What the? <laughs> chill, my dude. Chill, she's safe. Like, relax. Okay, so... Alright, so I guess we gotta defeat, um... The enemies blocking the way, so let's go. Alright, I'm gonna try ch changing up the Dread Spheres. Um... Well, we saw Berserker on Yuna last episode, so let's do Lady Warp now. Um, Pain... Let's do Berserker. And Riku, let's do Alchemist. I want to switch up the Dress Spheres. I feel like I'm, I'm not switching them up enough. Oh, look at Yuna. She look, bro, she looks like LeBlanc. <laughs> oh, man. Speaking of LeBlanc, um, somebody in the comment section mentioned how... Uh, uh, I didn't get nothing. I didn't win nothing. Somebody mentioned that uh, LeBlanc is the heart, the, the hearts card in um, the Lady Love Dress Beer. It's hilarious. I didn't know that LeBlanc was a Lady Luck outfit, had a Lady Luck outfit. <laughs> now I know, love. <laughs> Attack! All right, we're gonna have to use some abilities here. Let's have Pain use Berserk. What's good? He mix them. Um. Oh shoot! All right, all right. Um, some high potion with a high potion. What does that do? I want to win something. Give me something good. Woo! Yes. What does that do? <laughs> I don't know. What does that do though? Oh shoot, if you mix two high potions, that does a, me uh, a mega potion. I did not know that. Now I know. <laughs> That's good to know because since Riku doesn't have mega potion unlocked as her ability yet, we can do that for now, I guess. Alright, what are we doing? What are we doing? Alright. Oh, okay. We have to defeat the blue flames in, in order. Yo, this dude is no joke. Ah, I almost had it. I almost had it. Um. Yo, that does a lot of damage. I'm not sure what that mixing does. Ah. What the heck? I literally got nothing. Potato masher though. <laughs> potato masher? What do they mean by that? Like it's a grenade that mashes potatoes? I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> Why is it called potato masher? <laughs> Alright, so we're pretty much just battling these guys one by one. Nothing really all uh, that special here. Nothing that uh difficult to do. <laughs> try to get try to get Oh come on! I had that. I had the cherries. <laughs> Alright, we have like mad high potions, so let's mix them. Alright, we got it. Damn, you see Pain's HP with Berserker? Whoa. That's probably more than um Dark Knight would have. Maybe. I'm not sure. Oh, you know what? Let me throw a, um, you know what? Actually, gamble. Ah. Let me, um, use, I, not I drop, um, echo screen on pain. Not that she really needs it anyways. I don't know. 
know why I even wasted a move for that. I feel like this gambling thing. This is why I don't gamble. This is why I don't. I don't gamble. Because I always lose. Yo, Berserker? It's Berserk. <laughs> it really is. It's doing mad damage. Yes, open sesame. Ooh, speaking of sesame, bruh, I had the best like Asian sesame chicken today with like white rice. Oh my god. It was so good. Like It was like um home cooked. So it was like better than anything that you would buy from like a Chinese restaurant. It was official, bro. Like it was official. It was so good. Bro. I just finished eating it, and I'm pretty full. That's why. That's why I'm pretty laid back this episode. Cause I'm full as hell. So I'm just taking it easy. <laughs> I'm just taking it easy. I'm not that hyped right now. I'm, I'm so full that I got me like. Wanting to, to knock out, but I wanted to play. I wanted to play FFX too, so I had to. I had to before I knock out. Before I knock out, <laughs> it's nothing better to do before going to bed than playing FFX too, or just PS4 in general. <laughs> Any game, pretty much. Okay, so we're gonna go down here. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, Samurai Just Fear. Yes, yes. Um, the guide was telling me about this. Uh, they said to pick up, to not forget the Samurai Just Fear. Um, I'm gonna actually equip that in one of the Garmin grids. Oh, and I told myself that I wanted to uh, change the Garmin grids for the characters, which I'm gonna put uh Yuna with uh Wishbringer. Cause I, I put like a lot of healing dress spheres in there like alchemist white mage and yeah so i'm gonna put that on her and i'm gonna have her as a um i want her i want to see her switch to her dark knight on on in battle oh you know what i completely forgot to take off the charm bangle I don't like to have the charm bangle throughout the whole episode, so. Oh, we can do that. Alright, and I wanna switch her for. You know what? I'm gonna. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I don't. I really don't like taking a lot of time in the. Um, the menu screens. What is, um, yeah, it's this one, um, yeah, I want to switch out, was it Samurai that we had? Yeah, it was Samurai. I want to switch out, um, Lady Luck, for now, just for now, and equip that on Riku. I want her to have Samurai. Oh, no, 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 no. You know what? I'm gonna... Sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna have her switch in battle so we can see the... The, um... Sequences of... Dress fear changes. <laughs> Which is always awesome to see. I love seeing you. Oh, shoot. We have a boss fight Again. against... Ifrit... One of my favorite aeons. No. Yuni. I know. I'm ready. No. I don't. I hate. Bruh. I don't. I hate battling the aeons. I really do. I, I feel sad, bro. Alright, so let's switch to um Dark Knight for you know? Let's switch to um Samurai for Riku. And we'll keep Pain as a Berserker. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Oh shoot, that's um her weapon in, in Dark Knight. It's uh Tidus's ultimate weapon in FFX. That is freaking tough, yo. That is tough, yo. I don't care, bro. That is so tough. Um, let's cast Regan on the party. Can we do that? Oh, one at a time. Uh, Bushido, Mirror of Iquity, attack one enemy, gives greater damage when HP goes. Uh, no. Let's do that once. Let me see. Oh, look it! Yo! I just noticed that Riku has, uh, one of Orin's weapons. Okay, Regan on Riku. Oh my god, she looks like Orin! <laughs> She looks like Orin right now, bro. All right, now uh, Regan on pain, and then we'll just attack with you know. I'm loving the party right now. They look so tough, especially Riku. That's it. That's it, Ifrit. I thought you would put up more than a fight than that. I feel like uh, Balfour put up a. Uh, more of a fight than that. Damn, I didn't even have to cast Regan. <laughs> oh man, but Ifrit, man, he was like one of my favorite summons in FFX. So to fight him and defeat him is kind of sad. Another hole. Hmm. That's it. And now the fire is back to red. Which is weird. It's weird because I always thought the the you know the dreams of the faith, the aeons, were the ones powering up the elements. Like the fire for instance. So since we don't have Ifrit anymore, it's like What's powering those fires? I don't know. Hmm, <laughs> I don't get it. Fortunately, I know everything. So why were fiends coming out of the temples? The fiends didn't come from the temples. They came from the chambers of the faith. Exactly, okay. but why? I'm just a kid. What the Shinra are you? Yo, the Shinra. holes in the chambers of the faith <laughs> were they there before? No, so the holes must be new, right? There was one in Bavel, too, a great hole, but that one was made by Vendagon, wasn't it? That's true, but they're connected somehow. The halls uh, are connected? Yes, <laughs> but it's more face. than just that. Somehow I think there are deeper connections. Oh, that is deep, you know. Distress call from Jose Temple. That is deep. Jose, is it What the hell? <laughs> hmm. Brother is so Looks weird. Looks like they got into some trouble trying to clear out the fiends. <sighs> oh, now they need our help. <laughs> right, here's the order. Call wings, forget it. Let people save himself. <laughs> what? That's my soul. You. What did you say? Well, ah, yeah. I wish I understood well, that. Well, we'll just have to charge him a little extra then. Go wings, let's go. Ah, oh, can't we give him a discount? Know. Why, Riku? Why you want to give Gippo a discount? Why? Because you have a crush on him. <laughs> well, it's possible, guys. They did date before, so she probably still likes him still. <laughs> Alright, so um, now we have a new hot spot, and that is Jose Temple. We're gonna have to uh, pretty much defeat the fiends inside the temple there, too. But if you head towards Jose Temple right now, you're gonna miss out on a percentage that you need to do prior to this mission because this mission is gonna push you straight to chapter 4. So before that, we're gonna go to Bavel. 
because there is something here that we have to see guys and the guide said that you have to go down here and something with gipple i didn't read the whole story i i don't read the story um parts of the guide they just tell me to follow gipple or something like that. there he is because i don't remember none of this so i don't want to spoil it for myself you know what i'm saying I like not remembering things. I, I played this like years ago, 13 years old, and it's like I'm playing it for the first time right now. So I'm loving it, I'm loving it. And I like that, you know, you know how some games you, you wish you could play for the first time again? <laughs> or like movies that you could watch for the first time again? <laughs> it's kind of like that. All right, let's head inside. Uh, we had uh, Shinra. You saw that sphere that I passed by. He already put down that sphere. You guys running around like, what's wrong with y'all, bro? What is going on? Alright, so we want to take this lift. It's going to take us down. Wait, wait, I thought this was supposed to take us down. Oh, we can go in here? Oh my god, I've never seen Bavel. This is the first time, bro. Hello? That over there is a Parider's lift. Yes, if you would, please accept this. Oh shoot, he gave us a Hypno Crown. Oh word, okay. That's Barely's private lift, that is. No touching without permission. Alright, sorry. Damn. All right, so, whoa, wait, do we have to, oh, wait, can I talk to you too? Please accept this gift too. And we got an electrician, uh, electrician. Oh, wait, wait, I want to go back. Can we ride that? Is that the lift that we need to take to um, follow Gippo? Drive settings change, main lift returning to normal mode. I don't get it. Main lift set to direct mode. What does that do? I don't. I really don't know what that does. But um, I guess we'll find out. Direct mode. I don't know. Hey, do you guys have any gifts for me? <laughs> Shoot! Now I'm talking to everyone. They giving out gifts like nothing. Like it's Christmas. All right, so the this is the main lift, right? So what does it do now? Okay. All right, so changing the lift settings. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe we have to go in here. Hold up, hold up. My bad. I don't, I don't know what to do right now. Damn, this is I'm a, such a horrible walkthrough right now. <laughs> no, we don't. Weren't we supposed to step on something here? Damn, I need to like. It was because I ate, bro. I ate right before recording, and when I have like a full stomach, I all I want to do is just relax and like just lay down and probably fall asleep or you know read a book or something but instead right now i i rather just play <laughs> okay so we have to do this got you got you all right all right so let's go back now will that work let's see let's see if it works oh Whew, i was getting nervous there for a second i wasn't sure what to do all right, this is the way we want to go, guys. Um, um, I believe we just well, go well. straight into Ooh, some battles. I I want a battle, especially with Riku looking like that. This is so freaking tough. Pads one enemy's HP. Where? Are Let's do that. Worm. Oh, he's guarded against that. Alright. 
Yo, Berserker, bro, Berserker is pretty good. It's pretty good. Everything that they have on right now is really good. Gipple. This is what we want to see. Apparently, the guide said to follow him. Was that Gipple? What's he doing here? The real question is, do you still like him, Riku? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just kidding. Oh man, that is like totally irrelevant to what this mission is about. <laughs> All right, let's head inside. <laughs> oh, but I, I do feel like she still likes him. He's a pretty cool guy. Ooh, hi there. Who's this? Oh, Makina. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to have the charm bingo on the whole freaking episode. I feel like that's pretty boring. Instinct triple. That's a good idea. Oh, everybody guards against that. Move. Yes, Riku takes some damage. Yo, does does Riku do the same pose, like victory pose, as Orin? When he wins a battle, you saw that? She'd be like, Psh. <laughs> Bruh, this is so freaking awesome. I love, you know, this is why I wanted to switch up the dress fears. Because I want to see the, you know, the different outfits and the different poses and all that. It's fun to watch. It's kind of nostalgic in a way. Can we drain from the Machina? I don't think so. Berserk. I don't think that's gonna work, uh, the move that I just did for Riku. Yeah, you but can't you me. I need to use I need to gain AP from the battles. So using abilities here and there is gonna help out. It's gonna quicken it quicken the uh abilities. Woo, you missed, bro. What's good you? This is easy! Ooh, look at Yuna posing. Looking good, yo. <laughs> I sound like brother right now. <laughs> but except the difference between me and brother is that I'm not her damn cousin, brother. <laughs> family is family, my dude. Ooh, this chest responds down here too. That's really good. I need Ethan. Alright, so this battle we already did, so I'm just gonna escape. Oh, you missed! Haha, <laughs> bye! <laughs> Alright, let's head up here. I believe we're, we're almost done getting all the dress fears. Um, I believe the. Uh, there's like one left, I think, that we have to get. Fair change? Attacking by throwing gill? No, 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 I'm not throwing my gill. <laughs> Hell no. <nah. laughs> you crazy, bro. Well, right now, I'm just pretty much attacking for now. Works At least until they learn some new abilities that I can use that are actually, you know, useful to use. Here. This is pretty much the same place we went to when we fought Bahama. So it's nothing, you know, new. We already know what to do, pretty much. We pretty much got everything that they have to offer down here. So there is no detours or anything like that. We're just going straight down there. It's crazy how they have all of this under the belt. Oh, so that chest, oh, that chest does respawn, okay. And I believe the other uh, chests that were past this contraption don't respawn. 
because they were holding some important accessories. So the ones with accessories in them, they don't respawn. So we don't have to worry about that. Oh man, we're already at 40. Oh no, no, no. Hold up, hold up. Uh, let me put that charm bingo on now because I had enough uh, battling for this episode because we're already at 40 minutes and I want to at least get through this mission before I end it you know what I'm saying all right so we have to do this little puzzle again which is not really all that difficult all we got to do is step on this pedestal again and the other one up ahead grab this yeah I, I just put the charm big one just to save a little bit of extra time because I really I'm really curious to see what Gipple's up to down here I don't know I don't remember at all so oh let's save it in a new slot and continue on I'm kind of like worried for I'm, I'm kind of worried I feel like something bad's gonna happen like there's always something bad happening down here <laughs> what the hell especially with all the airy music like what the heck is up with that all right let's go what the heck who is that over there i never seen this ever that's nuge nuge and bear hey. life we found them. You're late. <laughs> if you were on time, then I'd really start to worry. <laughs> what is going on? So much for being missing. Right? Sure you should be here? The Youth League and New Yevon are crumbling without you guys to hold them together. You expect too much. Learn from us. So why are we here? There's something I needed to be sure of. Vagna Gun is gone. Where is he? <laughs> Listen to you. Vagna Gun is gone. Are you trying to tell us that since that thing left on its own, Yevon's not to blame? It's the truth. The things more sensitive than its size would lead one to believe. It detects hostility and in an instant springs to life. Should one even think of harming it, it awakens like a frightened child. Ha! You did your homework. I've had two years. Wait, so you're saying that Vegnagon woke up because someone was trying to destroy it? Huh. Who? Who indeed? I'm a little confused. You came to claim it for yourself, didn't you? But Vagna got awoke. Why? Because deep down you hated it. Did you come here to use it? Or destroy it? Well? Both. Both? You probably think that's impossible. You've always been too naive to see. I wouldn't expect you to understand. Then I hope you don't expect me to trust you either. I believed in you once. When we were training for the Crimson Squad, I thought I'd never find a better friend. But you betrayed that. Two years ago. Barrel whoa, eye! Whoa, 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 whoa. Why did you shoot? Why did you shoot Gipple and me? We were friends! And you shot us in the back! Answer me! Just calm down. 
Nuge, apologize already! That's enough! Don't push me. If this is oh what it takes. God. This has turned out perfectly. Wouldn't you agree? What the hell? Yes, I shot you. Why is he like that now, all of a sudden? You are easy targets. You and Pain. You shot Pain too? Why? <laughs> Answer me! I made him do it. He was too weak to resist me. Nuge? I don't expect you to present any more of a challenge. Not now. What the hell is that? See, I found that the mind that hates and despairs is the easiest to break. Two years ago, it was the same with you, Nuge. Seeking your own death? Now you can have it! Wait! Stop! Huh? Hey! Get out of here! Boy, who's that behind you? Oh hell! Oh hell! Grab the controller. I didn't know there was gonna be a fight down here. Oh, Berserk! Oh shoot, okay, okay, alright, we got you, we got you. Oh man, this is crazy right now. What in the hell is going on with them three? Like, <laughs> they were having a regular conversation and all of a sudden... I don't know, Nuge started talking so possessed, like he was possessed. And then these fireflies started floating towards Barely, and now Barely is possessed? Where'd they go? I saw Barely escape. Nuge and Gipple probably chased after him. So you knew all three of them? Long ago. Yeah, but Nuge, he. Ugh. Yes, he shot us. It was an accident. At least that's how I see it. Why didn't you tell us? You never asked. No. I'm asking now. You don't want to tell us. Bingo. Uh. <sighs> Secrets. You want to know? Yeah. Yeah, but... Forcing you to tell isn't any better. We'll wait until you're ready. No pressure, huh? Well, you know how Pain is. She never wants to, you know, tell her little secrets. Who is this? Okay, we got the Crimson Sphere 1 word, which that's great because uh, we need all nine of them? Or seven of them? Or, oh man, I forgot how many there were, but <laughs> we need all of them in order to open that door in, uh, mushroom rock road so yeah guys that was crazy that was a crazy scene it's crazy how the three of them were like acting really weird well just barely and nude and somehow uh pain is also involved i don't know guys anyways that's all i have time for in this episode of ffx2 make sure you guys subscribe and in the next episode we're gonna continue on to the last mission for this chapter which is jose temple so yeah guys i'll catch you guys then and take care